Hello, and welcome to another entry of Michael Haller's Development Diary, and today I'll be fo focusing on more of some general codes that I've been working on, along with some Western Merc stuff that I've kind of done. Now, uh, over the past few days, I've been working on getting a custom character and a custom weapon in the game, and I'm just going to open up my editor here and show you how the things that are involved in that, and it should load right now, like boom, alright, so... Here's our editor, you know, fancy editor. And uh, here's the map. I don't know if it's the current version of what our team's doing, but yeah, this is a little small western town that's kind of been blocked out for our team project. Anyways, so we got this going on, and I decided to make the game not drive from UT Deathmatch or whatever for this level because it's a western and I want western characters with western guns, and then I want all this other stuff, and so basically, uh, uh, that's what Western Mercs is what I'm trying to do. I'm kind of making a little uh, game from almost scratch, I guess. Well, the Unreal script is based off UDK classes, not so much to UT classes. Oh, that's kind of... Anyways, long story. Alright, so uh, what I've done is I set up a, a character, and this character is rigged using a, an Unreal skeleton found off the UDN documentation, so I don't have to do all the animations for it. It's just there. The, the gun kind of fits. I need to work on the rig for the character a bit more. It's actually not my department. As you can see, the hands are a little bit weird. Everything else seems to flow pretty nice, but the hands are pretty bad. So the gun doesn't really fit all that well. But it is set to a socket. And, and here's a socket that you can see there for it. And, uh, yeah. And then a little atom set here. Oh, well, that's just all the default under animations. A little anim tree that's kind of based off of uh, Unreal or the UK's default anim tree, but uh, I cut some stuff out because there's a lot of things that were needed in here. And I switch a lot of these nodes to UDK nodes instead of UT nodes, even though they're really the same thing. But, you know, whatever. And this physics asset's also a little bit modified. I had to change it a bit to uh, account for the little backpack thing on this guy's side. And, there's something with the neck, so I had a this extra bone in there, and I had to put an extra spine bone in there. So, uh, you know, physics assets, that's part of the pipeline. Now, effects. I made my own, uh, well, if you're following the muzzle flash tutorial on my site, you'll see that I'm using the same muzzle flash here. I've also created uh, an impact particle, which maybe I'll do a tutorial on later, but, uh, you yeah, know, so we got a few things going on here. Uh, we have a bullet impact particle system. Looks kind of similar to a sniper rifle uh, impact based off of UT3 because I kind of based it, my cascade off of that. However, I'm using different textures and the settings are a little bit different. But yeah, I used that as a reference when I was creating these because I had no idea how to use cascade, so I learned that way. So yeah, that's a custom texture that we're using there too. So it's almost completely original. All right, so uh, we out now have a bullet tracer. Nice trace. It's very dimmed, so you know that your gun's being shot, but it doesn't really affect other players all that much. It's just, hey, your gun's fired, you know. Really quick, just something to add, a little something there to it, so you know your gun's working. And then we have a little muzzle flash. I know that's part of the tutorial. You know, and I, I basically duplicated that, but I made it muzzle flash a lot, a lot smaller, because it's going to be for a handgun or a revolver instead of a rifle. Anyway, so to the rifle itself, um, Huh. Oh, sorry. So yeah, I've included sounds. I coded some sound logic too, so it kind of works. There's a you know, uh, little reload and a little ricochet. And there we go. So I also uh, watch kind of to the side. I've had a, a teammate model this gun and gone ahead and animated it. It's uh, kind of rigged, and it's somewhat animated, so that it, you know, has a weapon idle sequence, which kind of made it a little bit too much idle, I guess. Yeah, it kind of was around too much. There's a weapon reload, really quick, way too quick. In fact, that needs to be redone, so it actually reloads, to just spins the cylinder, but you know, it's not my department. I just did it there just to test the code. And then there's a weapon put down and a weapon equip. Very cool, very cool. All right, so, uh, yeah. What was going on there? And uh, up in buildings. 
Oh, these are some buildings that piece apart for some other artists and stuff. And the uh, UI. I've got a made a little scoreboard UI, which isn't in the game yet, but it's, it's kind of there. I imported some fonts. I imported this uh, HUD texture for ammo. The crosshair, which I need to get working as well. I forgot about the crosshair. Alright, so and that's just from my UI system. So we go ahead and. Let's just. Oops. Let's go ahead and load this up. And. I forgot that my teammates put music in this map. I do not like that. I do not like that at all. So I'm going to go ahead and. I disable that. Music again? Okay. Yeah, I just want to break this thing. Do not like that. Alright. Uh oh. And I clicked the wrong button. Awesome. God damn it. Yep, it doesn't work there. Alright. So here's our here's our map. You know, you're walking around and stuff. Here's the gun, it fires. You can see that there's two muzzle flashes when it fire. Long story, I need to fix that. But uh yeah. But basically it's all custom weapon code. It's not based off your two weapons, so I had to re work some of the functionality that you would find in a normal weapon. So as you can see, we have a third person model that's attached to our model. And we have a first person, plays the animation right, and fires, and you can see we have a little revolver thing that every time you fire, it takes away a bullet out of your chamber. It's kind of cool. So we go on the third person, you can see it fire in third person. It's kind of cool. And it lights the environment around you. And you can see that it casts a shadow on the ground as well. Very cool. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video so I know how long we're at. Okay, we're at seven minutes, so I'm gonna wrap this up now. Actually, it seemed like seven minutes, but yeah, seven minutes. All right. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the uh, the content I've done there. Uh, not so much content, but it took a while to learn how to rig all that, learn how to export it, learn how to animate. I had to kind of pretty much learn the entire pipeline there. And uh, it also all that stuff also works on the multiplayer environment. So I'm going to go ahead and load up a dedicated server here. And I'm going to load up two clients for it. And that, here we go. Come on client, come on client. I have three minutes left. Actually two minutes. And it always loading multiple clients is a little bit slow. Alright. So, uh, oh, um, okay, I want to mute my sound because that music's really annoying. I've got to save out that change. Alright, so here we go. So now we have uh, our players, and they're running around, and then you can see models in his gun. I don't know why the gun is offset like that, but uh, as you can, if you look at the other client, it matches his gun perfectly. I really don't know what's going on there. Hope they'll figure that out. Also, I need to get a texture for this guy. He looks pretty sandy. All right, so uh, that's cool. And you can shoot him, and he like, like twitches, and he can respawn. And uh, yeah, we have this uh, character selection. As you can see, that's not. Oh, that guy on the left, he's actually a corpse now. But uh, yeah, the girl on the right, can I do? Yeah, she's, uh, she's not supposed to be there. In fact, uh, I have this character selection code thing that's pretty cool. But uh, it doesn't keep, or it doesn't change your character to the right character when you respawn. Um, so if you do that, if you, there we go. Now, um, the right character. All right, very cool. I'm going to quit. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this dev diary, and I'll see you at the next one.